hello everyone so today we are going to implement collecting uh, mines from this uh, mine crates so as you can see here i got only two mines at the moment in my inventory and if i go here i the mines and key e notification appears so if i press e you can see the mine crate disappears and the mine count is increased to four so like that we can collect mines and of course we can place it that part is already implemented so today we are going to work on collecting mines from the crates all right so now in my system i have the oh sorry i have the mine count here and i can lace mines all good uh, the only thing remaining is regarding mines of course uh, maybe not the only thing the next thing i want to do is collecting mines uh, because i have over there already i have already implemented ways to collect different types of ammo and grenades so i am going to implement collecting mines as well so to implement that here let me put one of the ammo crates here for testing and here ammo type we have rifle ammo pistol ammo shotgun all things and grenades but i don't have mines so let's implement mines now so where is this let me open the ammo crate blueprint right and here ammo type is in this variable type ammo type so this is a enumeration Mm. I think I have implemented it here. Ammo type. Right here, I'll add another entry. Mines. Okay. Um, now, where do I use this? Okay, everything is automated, so no need to change anything except the icon. So for the mines, I need to put my mine icon here and that should be all here so let me change this to my yeah everything is okay but this seems too small why these are oh no no not too small this size is okay yeah this size is okay um now collecting part so collect demo is here can collect demo and where is collect demo here collect demo okay so we may have to change these functions implemented in let's see it should be in the base character this one and this one can collect demo
so here now we need another option wait ah equal enumeration nice that's also yes because we can collect mines we don't need to have any specific gun only we can collect mines so yeah that's the idea of this function because for certain guns let's say there are some sniper ammo and if we don't have a sniper we can't collect them but for mines we don't need to have a gun so we can collect them always so oh. If the type is mines or grenades, it's always yes. Right, and the collect demo here. If it is grenades, this function. Uh, uh, oh, if it is grenade, this function. All right, so now maybe instead of having a branch, it could more it would make more sense if I create a switch based on this ammo type. So switch on ammo type. Let me move this up. So these are for guns. So, rifle, pistol, shotgun, sniper, machine gun, crossbow, all the guns basically should go in this path and the grenades should take this path and mines should take another path. So, we don't need this branch anymore. And also this part let's move this down and we need a similar thing for the mines here Uh, well, I think here as I have this throwable data structure uh, I, I should have gotten rid of this grenade count and max grenade count um, and similarly I should have used this mine data for i should be using mine data structure so yeah let's just keep the grenade part as it is for now but i need to refactor that so get mine data and split get the mine data count and add whatever the amount that is coming from here shall we move it over there over here and yeah we need to clamp It with the min is zero, max is this max count, and then uh, again get mine data so member. I need to update 
the count with this value and that's what we need to connect here and then update my count oh sorry not this one update my count in the character all right shall we test let me save everything just in case any crashes okay minus a see this is increased to 4 cool let's try again corrected and now we should be able to place four mines if i try to place again no mines warning appears all right so actually that's it that's all i want to do but since i just noticed this issue with the grenade count now i'll leave it as it is for now i'll fix that in another day and thanks for watching as always project files will be available here for the pair to download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye